Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be getting into the reading today. Any information you need, as always, is listed in the description if you are new here. Of course, you wouldn't know that, so I'm here to tell you. Um, if you like pick a cards, check out my other YouTube channel. I have timeless pick a cards over there, so whenever you need a message, just head over there. Uh, I will have everything linked below. Right, let's jump into the reading. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera and enjoy. Capricorns, let's jump into your reading. So when it comes to the near future, what are my Capricorns not seeing coming next? So we have the status quo in reverse. We have optimism. We have the healing light as well as the honoring path. Okay, interesting mix of energy here. Okay, so what I'm noticing right off the bat, you guys are going to find yourself basically doing what you feel like is best for you. You're going to stop listening to people's advice, people's perspective on your situation. You could be feeling like you have a lot of people around you who aren't necessarily trying to help, but more so trying to judge, whether that's because of your relationship, because of you know the position you're at in life, whatever this is, you're like trying to break the barrier of basically meeting other people's expectations because you could be kind of fed up with that okay um some of you also are in like a non-traditional situationship type of thing right you could be starting to feel as if like that connection itself although you are trying to remain optimistic about it in some ways it could be starting to become tiring uh you could be fed up with all the different things that may come with dealing with somebody who you love but it could be a confusing situation that you're kind of tied up in because of the fact that you love them uh, i also see you guys besides love some of you have certain gifts like maybe you're somebody who's intuitive or maybe you're somebody who reads tarot and you have people around you who are judgmental so you could be having to step outside of this box of like i said listening to other people in their perspective because you have certain gifts that you were here to express that you were brought here to express so it's like having to fall in line with your personal journey and if other people are mad about it then so be it <laughs> it is what it is for sure um but continuing I see, yeah, especially with healing light, like some of you are naturally gifted with certain spiritual gifts and it's it's walking in your authentic path. And even if it's not a spiritual gift per se, you have a personal gift that other people could be judging you for in terms of you, you know, trying to pursue it. And during the second half of May, you're just like, you know what, F it, I'm going to take that leap of faith and, and do what I feel like is best for me. All right, let's keep going. Capricorns. What are they not seeing coming in the near future? Okay, so communication is a big thing that I'm noticing already. So in the second half of May, well, now until the end of May, it feels like You and your person, the communication is off <laughs> as far as like the way that you guys are communicating problems in the relationship is not in the manner of, okay, we're trying to fix things. We're trying to make things work, even though we're having a disagreement, but more so like just slinging mud and just saying things. So there could be really toxic arguments that you guys really do need to avoid giving too much energy into or even saying or doing things in the heat of the moment that you may regret that's important especially if you're dealing with um another earth sign um i'm also seeing another or not another but an air sign another thing i'm picking up on here money so this is being aware of how money is being spent there could be something that you need to uh, shell out money for. 
And if you're not being strategic in your finances, it could almost feel like you regret doing this with your money. This could be like, I don't know, plans or, or something that you have to pay for. Hmm. If you have a business, you may start to get new ideas in terms of ways that you could expand your business, new products. You could even be exploring like what things can you integrate within your business just so that you can make more money? Like what what is the smart way of attracting new customers or clients? Depending on what type of business you have, of course. But yeah, and then one thing I will say is make sure you really think your ideas through so that when it comes to integrating it, say you give like free shipping or something, right? Make sure it makes sense and that you, I don't want to, because we could go all the way off to a whole nother topic, but making sure if you do integrate certain things into your business, like free shipping or something like that, like that you consider all the things that could you know affect you in doing so and and find out a way to make it work for you and the customer but anywho moving on from that hmm okay some of you guys could be like I said in a situation with someone where they're tied to someone else or the dynamic is kind of strange uh, like they're married or something like that. They could be doing this thing where they're bouncing between you and that other person. And you could be noticing that in you guys arguing, they're giving attention to people that they told you that they wouldn't give attention to again. So that could be kind of raising some sort of red flags and then causing you to not trust this person. But let's pull some more cards. Capricorns. What are they not seeing coming in the near future of May? So yeah, creativity, great ideas. Uh, some of you guys just need to make sure you're thinking them through and being strategic, like I said. So you guys also may be very distracted. So this is making sure that you're you're pulling it or you're reeling it in and not being distracted by social media, being distracted by outside people, things like that. Hmm. You and someone may get more comfortable with each other where they might start divulging certain secrets or telling you certain things. This could be like a friend, um, a lover, somebody who you have a relationship with, but you guys have never been close enough to where this person has told you like their business for real, for real, or anything like that. Another thing I see, somebody may ghost you. Uh, they may randomly ghost you. And this is not the first time they've done this. They, they may do this often. So this wouldn't be shocking for some of you, but someone may try to ghost you. What's coming up in regards to love in the near future for Capricorns? This could be the one in reverse, engagement and letting go of control issues. So you may start to feel like somebody is not who you thought they were in terms of feeling like they were the one, the end all, be all, the person that you were meant to be with. Now you could be seeing that this person's true colors are coming out. Uh, and you could be even looking at the situation from not so much like these rose colored or looking at the situation through rose colored lenses, excuse me. Uh, it's like this shift that's taking place because you're seeing this person from not this like, like I said, like from this honeymoon phase that you guys have been in, it's like you're coming to reality. It is mainly what I'm seeing. Another thing I'm picking up, yeah, especially some of you guys have taken your relationship to the next level, like moved in with your person, like things have gotten more serious and as they get more serious, you notice more and more what's really going on. 
Hmm. But these are just some of the things that I see. I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully this was helpful in some way. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.